Okay, how's everybody doing? Good, All right. Uh, good to be back to game week, you know, after a week off and uh, everything that uh, revolved around that. And, uh, you know, it's good to be back to, uh, you know, getting ready for a big ball game this Saturday. Uh, you know, the kids had, a, you know, several days off here coming into uh, you know, this practice. And, you know, we'd have practice on Sunday, but it was a, a lighter practice of today's first heavy, heavy contact practice we've had since last Wednesday. Uh, so an important day for preparations. <clears throat> you know, I think that uh, you've had plenty of time to take a look at Houston and you know, certainly very impressed with uh, what they've done so far. They're five and one coming into the game. Um, I'm sure they feel like they should be six and zero. Oh. They feel like they probably let one get away there in the opener against Texas Tech. Uh, but they, they've been playing very, very well the past several weeks. Uh, all three phases, uh, they're dynamic in all three phases. Um, you know, you look at them defensively, and you know it's it's ten of eleven starters back. Uh, the other the other starters are transfer from Iowa State. Uh, they're you know. All juniors and seniors, I think they got one sophomore and five juniors and five seniors, so older guys, experienced guys that play together, they're playing very well. I think ranked fourth nationally or so in total defense. So, uh, you know, very good on that side of the ball. Offensively, you know, they put up some big numbers. Uh, they an experienced quarterback coming back, Clayton Toon. Uh, big offensive line. Uh, you know, Dell has had a, a huge year so far catching the ball. Freshman running backs had a very solid year so far. So, you know, very explosive offense, a lot of weapons. Uh, you know, the, the quarterback's been in the system for a couple of years now. So, you know, he does a good job with that. Um, you know, special teams wise, the punt returner Jones is uh, leading the country in punt return average, I think 17.1 yards per return, two for a touchdown. So a dynamic returner. Uh, wouldn't be shocked if he's not returning kicks this week uh, also. So, you know, it's a complete football team, you know, very, very explosive, very good football team. So, got a big challenge, uh, homecoming at Houston. So, I'm sure they're excited about, uh, you know, Saturday, and uh, we are too. So, great opportunity for our program. Kids are really excited. Uh, I expect us to have a really good week of practice. Coach, I imagine during the bye week you guys did some self-scouting as well. Uh, what did you like about the first half of the season for your team, and what areas do you want to see the, the group kind of improve upon? <clears throat> well, I mean, I think you look at all three phases. You know, you look at uh, what you've been doing in all three phases, and I think you can sit there and we can, we can talk in depth about all of it. You know, I think defensively, uh, you really like a lot of the things we did defensively. I think we're playing very fast. I think we're playing with great physicality. Uh, I think we're doing a good job turning the ball over. You know, I think we're doing all those things very, very well. I think uh, negatives, I think, you know, too many big plays. Uh, we looked at a big play cut up and just identifying what, you know, what caused each of them. Uh, is, a, is, a, is a personnel breakdown? Is it a, a, somebody took advantage of a scheme? You know, what, what caused it? Uh, adjustment, whatever. So I think that, uh, you know, those are what you saw defensively. I think, you know, offensively, um, it, it really, the execution piece is what you looked at where the, the, the issues are when we had issues. Because when we're executing well, uh, we put up some big numbers. Uh, and you look, uh, you, know, you look at the, the points we've scored uh, through six games and, and we're playing very well. Um, and there's been some games where we've struggled. Uh, now, our opponents had something to do with that, but for the most part, I put it on our execution. Um, you know, the games that we've won the turnover battle, you know, those are the games we won, you know, for the most part. So uh, special teams wise, I think we're doing some good things. I think, you know, Owen and John have both had a solid beginning to the year. Um, I think I, I want to see CSB more productive on kickoff return. Uh, I want to see us be more productive on uh, punt return. And, uh, and that's more the, the, the other 10 guys than the returner, because I do think we have a, a returner that's very capable and has a chance to make some big plays. So we, look, we, did, we looked at a lot of things with all over the board, you know, with self eval. Coach, when you look at the Cougars, uh, they present a variety of problems. Uh, how do you address being successful against them? How do you, what are the things you have to do to, to do well against a team like Houston? Well, which phase? All three. All three? Okay. Well, um, you know, defensively, uh, you know, they're four, four, two, five, four, three. Um, you know, they, they don't pressure a lot uh, as far as blitzes and things like that. 
uh, when they do, they're very effective because they don't pressure a lot. So uh, they don't have to because their front four generates a lot of a lot of pressure on the quarterback and the pass rush. So we've got to do a great job protecting Holton. Uh, we've got to be able to handle their front four, and that's going to be a huge piece uh, to being successful Saturday. We've got to be able to pick up the pressures when they come. Um, I think the two corners are, are the probably the best tandem we face so far. They're both seniors. They're experienced. Uh, they're good players. Um, you know, it's it, it's it's going to be a challenge uh, in 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 you know being able to being able to go against those guys. I think we're going to see man free coverage. I think we're going to see quarters coverage. So I think that they're going to, they're going to take those guys and try to lock them up on our number one receivers. Uh, the safeties and the linebackers, you know, they do a great job in the in the run game. Uh, you know, they they're kind of downhill players, very physical. So I think we've got to do a good job of, of handling them in the run game. And then, you know, our backs are going to be one-on-one -on -one, uh, a good bit. And so uh, you know, it'll come down to, you know, who's just better in that one-on-one -on -one situation right there a lot of times in the run game. So uh, I think when you look, um, you know, at them offensively, it's, you know, just being sound, not giving up the big play. Uh, you know, we've got to stop McCaskill, uh, do a great job against the run. Uh, we're gonna have to get some pressure on Tune. If you sit, if you let him sit in there and, and have all day to throw, he's gonna he's gonna hurt you. You get too many weapons. Uh, you know, Dell is dynamic. You know, we're gonna have to be able to handle him. Um, you know, special teams. You know, Jones is probably the best returner we faced all year. So maybe the best returner we will face all year. So we've got to do a great job there in our coverage units. You know, against him. Coach, one of the knocks on Holton has been that he tries to do too much. And you know, look at the UCF game, there was a big play there. He could have got a first down, threw it to the end zone. But do you, how do you, how do you man manage that? Because you, you want him to take chances. You want him to, to just you know go out there and, and be Holton. But then there's you know, plays like that. He, he just, you know, the thing we've encouraged him on is just play within the offense. You know, he's, he, he, and he's hurt us, you know, he is, a good runner, you know, when there's opportunities there to run, he needs to run. Um, you know, he was trying to get the ball to CJ on that play. Uh, it, was a, it was a tough, tough throw. Now, he made a great throw. It's just you don't have a whole lot of space there in the back of the end zone. Uh, CJ made a great play on the ball. There's just not a lot of space back there. Um, but you'd like to see him take that, take that run. That's what, you know, when I was listening to your question, you know, you, people criticize him for doing too much, people criticize him for not doing enough. You know, he needs to quit worrying about what people say and quit worrying about the media, quit worrying about social media, quit worrying about what the fans say. He needs to focus on doing his job. That's it. Do his job and have fun. He needs to, he needs to have fun and quit worrying about everything all around him. And I think he's trying to do that. Kind of along the same lines, you mentioned how strong their corners are and that they're going to be giving yeah. you guys some serious looks to try to take the, the number one and two guys <laughs> presumably out of it on, on those plays. Right. How is Holton come along? It seems like he's been able to find that third and fourth guy, certainly at times this yeah. year. And how do you coach him further into, uh, in, especially in terms of not giving up on a play, but not necessarily running at all, but finding that, that extra receiver, right. uh, that late receiver coming up? Well, I think that's important. You know, the good thing this year is we, we have more than one guy. You know, of course, you know, everybody knows about CJ. Audie's having a great year. Uh, Josiah's made some big plays. Everybody knows about Sneed. Uh, Shane Calhoun's doing some good things. Ryan Jones is doing some good things. The backs are heavily involved in the passing game. You know, they got 30 catches on the year. So it's, it's not like he just has one guy. So that's, I mean, I think that's important is, is we're going to have to do a great job pre-snap of identifying the coverage, do a great job protecting him and giving him time because it does take time to get to that second and third read. And then, you know, he's just got to make great decisions with the ball. But I think that there, there will be opportunities there because it's not like we sit here and we don't have options. And Coach, kind of the piggyback on that, it seems like when you guys have gone to the tight ends, you guys have had a lot of success with that. Are there design plays to go to tight ends or does it come back to like what you were saying with Holden where it, they're, they're down the list on the reads and it's up to him to make the decision of who gets the ball? Not with, you know, with – the guys that we have at that position, we have, there's a big part of our offense that's designed, they're the first read, you know, the ball's designed to go to them. So, uh, again, it depends on, it depends on how each team's played. We think we know how they're going to play us, so we have some things designed for that. Uh, once you get to game day, you got to adjust. I mean, it's no different than, you know, going in, going into battle. You know, once the fight starts, you got to adjust to what's happening in the fight. You know, it's that, it's that kind of deal. So, uh, 
you know, we, we have a lot of confidence in those guys. I think Shane and Ryan have done a great job receiving this year. Uh, and I think they do create some matchup problems. And so uh, we'll, see, we'll see how much we can get on the ball on Saturday. Coach, last week you kind of talked about the, uh, the bye week coming at this point in the season. And I know you said you wish every week was game week. Um, but now that it's passed and we're in game week again, you kind of feel that the, the, the bye week kind of came at the right time for you guys and for to kind of assess yourselves are and where you are right now? I'll let you know Saturday night. You know, uh, we got some guys that, you know, certainly had a chance to rest up some. Uh, had some time to, uh, you know, really prepare for some things we're going to see in the coming weeks. Uh, really get a head start on Houston. Uh, but, you know, really, like I said, I mean, I want to give the guys time off so that they can get their bodies healed up. Because, I mean, if you don't, you'll look up in November and you won't have anybody left. So you got to you got to let them recover and recuperate. But at the same time, you know, you want to stay sharp. And that's why I say today's practice is so important because, you know, they've had uh, from heavy, heavy contact. And contact is the difference in, in football and every other sport is, you know, we've got to have a great practice today to make sure we're sharp on Saturday. And so today's practice is very, very important from a standpoint of getting, you know, get back going. Coach, Avery seems to have settled in at center and then also with, with Trent Holler leading the program. How does that change kind of the depth there uh, at the center position? Well, you know, Avery is, he's had a great year and he's, uh, you know, he's what you want at that position. Um, you know, Fernando Fry started every game for us at center last year, so obviously he's got a tremendous amount of experience there. And then Isaiah Foote, um, you know, he repped at center for about two and a half weeks during preseason camp, you know, when I uh, had a couple of guys out. So, you know, we've got, we've got solid guys there. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a situation where, you know, you, you hate when things happen, but, uh, you know, you got to move on. And so, uh, you know, we're excited about those guys and, and have faith in, faith in their ability to get the job done. Also, in regards to playing true road games, I mean, you guys have played pretty well at Marshall, at UCF, one on one. But what is the difference in mentality going on the road and kind of having to lock in maybe that that mental approach versus playing at home, that where it's a more comfortable environment? Yeah, I mean, you play at home, you've got you know forty thousand pirates, you know, screaming and yelling, and you know you feel the energy from the time you start the pirate walk, and uh, you know it's just a great home environment. So you don't have that on the road, obviously. You know, it's. I think our kids, they've gotten to where they, they really function well on the road schedule. Um, I think that they feel like, uh, you know, they're able to get uh, a little bit of rest on uh, Friday because of the travel. Uh, you know, they, they sleep on the plane or whatever and uh, get to the hotel and they're able to, you know, just take, take a, you know, just get to, off their feet for a few minutes before we eat dinner and stuff like that. So I feel like they get a little bit uh, of decompression during the day on Friday that they don't get for a home game. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, we talked about it before, it's kind of the circle of the wagons kind of deal. It's us against the world, you know, when you go on the road. It's your, your roster is much smaller. The travel party is not very big. You know, it's, you don't have as many fans there. So it's, you know, it's very much, you know, you know when we went into to, uh, UCF, when we went into Marshall, it's, you know, kind of us against everybody else kind of mentality. ended last week with a little inter-squad scrimmage, um, letting some of the younger guys play. Did anybody stand out to you that you hadn't really noticed? Or um, yeah, maybe I mean, not played, you know, yeah. like you'd seen? You know, you, those are always fun events. You know, the, the, the other players really get excited in those events. And, you know, you, you're, you know, Ryan Stubblefield got to play a good bit, and he looked really good, you know. But but he's also traveling, and he's also, you know, a guy that we got a lot of faith in. But, you know, he threw the ball around very good. Some of the young receivers, uh, Troy Lewis and uh, Ray Rose, and some of those guys made some plays. And, you know, Pop got a lot of work, and that, which that was good. You know, he got a lot of work every day last week because he needs it. You know, he's we got to keep bringing him along. Uh, you know, he's – he understands the adjustment that has to be made going from high school to college. You know, it takes it, with freshmen. You know, it, it hits them between the eyes a little bit, and then they they figure out that it's you got to show up every day, and you got to work every day, and you got to you know be driven, and you got to be self motivated, and you got to take care of your business off the field, and you got to be doing a great job with your diet, and you got to be doing a great job with your academics, and you got to take care of your body, and then and then you got to wake up the next day and do the same thing again. And oh, by the way, you know they're all they're all out there beating on you every day. You know. It's, Thing he made the comment he made to me at the end of the week is, well, I, I'm, I'm really sore this week. You 
well, yeah, people are hitting you this week because you're you're getting more carries than you than you normally do. So um, I think a lot of those guys did some good things. You know, it's tough, you know, for some of those guys because they're the show team uh, most of the time. So they're you know they're the group running Houston's plays and running Houston's defense today, and uh, you know so they don't they don't get the time that uh, the travel team gets during the season. You know they really get that time during spring practice and and uh, getting ready for uh, you know the season preseason camp kind of stuff. But uh, you know I'm excited about some of those young guys. Uh, I'm glad that uh, you know last year we had to play all the freshmen. You know just the situation we were in. You know, it was kind of trial by fire. Uh, fortunately, this year we're not in that situation because all those freshmen are second-year players now, so they're, you know, they're, uh, you know, protecting those first-year guys a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pleased with uh, the way everything went last week. Anything else? All right. Have a good afternoon.